gift of a lifetime this Mother's Day, their freedom back. A Tampa Bay advocacy group raised bail money for these moms with low-level offenses, part of a national movement called Bailout Day. Fox 13's Crystal Clark live at the Pinellas County Jail tonight to tell us about it. And Crystal, how do they decide who exactly to help? Well, Cynthia, the Bay Area Dream Defenders who are behind this say they just reached out to the community as well as local attorneys and bail bondsmen to find women who, in most circumstances, probably wouldn't be sitting in jail for months just waiting for a trial if they weren't low-income citizens. It was a celebration of life and, most of all, freedom for four women who were bailed out of the Pinellas County Jail Thursday through donations. Tanisha Bynum couldn't hold back her tears of joy. Kind of feel surreal at this moment because yesterday I was sitting in this little cell on this metal bunk with this thin mat like, man, I need a miracle. Bynum, a mother of four, was put in jail for a traffic citation. She sat behind bars for three weeks. I was actually going to the beach. I got into a car wreck. I had a previous traffic ticket, which I did fail to appear in court because I don't live in Florida anymore. I live in Alabama. That failed appearance meant a warrant was put out for her arrest and her bail was set high at $10,000. With no money to pay it, she had no way of getting out. When people of color, period, who are disproportionately affected by poverty uh, get roped into the system, then they, it's hard for them to get out because the money bail system kind of traps them in. The Tampa Bay Area Dream Defenders came to Bynum's and three other women's aid, raising $25,000 to pay their bail money in full. They say mothers with minor offenses are better served at home, teaching their children not to make the same mistakes rather than sitting in a jail cell. You know, school to prison pipeline is real. If you don't have a mom in your household to protect you, to make sure you're coming home to do your homework every day, it creates a whole set of dangers and opportunities. The organization plans to be a support system for the women moving forward. But first, their focus is on letting them enjoy their first weekend of freedom with the people who love them the most, their children. Oh, I miss them. And I still have to get Alabama to them. And organizers with Dream Defenders say they're not done yet. They're still raising money, and they plan to come back out here to the jail tomorrow in hopes of bailing more mothers out in time for the holiday this weekend. Back over to you. Yeah, I like the idea that they're going to still hang with these women and help support them going forward, not just bailing them out and, hey, they're on their own now, you know? Makes a difference. Thanks so much, Crystal Clark reporting for us.